Okay, I'm back to start writing after that hour-long, I don't want to call it a digression, that hour-long uh, discussion with myself about writing and things involving writing and all that. Okay, so today, it's a weekday, I had plenty of things to do, I have some constraints today on how much time I can make a video. So I made that one video and make this video, this is probably the last one to today, I'll have two. But I do want to get some actual writing done, or at least maybe writing is not the right word. I want to get some work on the book directly. So let's see here. Um, I got my rules. Uh, so the writing session stuff. Did I copy all that over? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I did. All right, so I don't think I need this anymore. Okay. So, I do have some notes from uh, the Will Radio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these over. Now I can close that. Okay, so I got my rules, my general rules, and I've got a text file for the book. All right, I'm sure I'm gonna have to organize this some. All right, here are my slogans. Success is finishing and submitting on deadline. That's right. That's my notion of success. All right, that is the definition of success for me. All right. I have no idea how to write this book. So, and I have no idea what I'm doing. I'll write another slogan down for myself. Brett Victor says... Something along the lines of the most dangerous thought a creative person can have is that they know what they are doing. Okay, it's approximately this. I don't remember the exact quote. Okay. Uh, I will keep that in mind. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I have never written a book like this. So I'm in good company. Uh, okay. Another thing to remind myself. I want to finish the book. On time. And submit. For pub location, for press or whatever it's called, for publication. Submit to press. What was it called? Submit to market and put it on the market. On the market. So I can get that sweet, sweet, creative. Commons money. There we go. All right. Mm. Mm. And I have a haiku for the book. I don't even know if this is actually a haiku. It doesn't really matter. Haiku for this book. 
is going to be bad advice poorly delivered boredom ensues okay that's my haiku i don't i don't know if there's a haiku or not but close enough all right so that's my haiku um all right another thought is even though i don't know what i'm doing i do know how to go meta since this is a book on creativity and thinking creatively and idiosyncratically apply the strategies of the book to the writing of the book and include the writing book of the book uh, in the book. All right, there we go, we're gonna go meta. Okay, let's see, another thing. Okay, so I'm not sure how to approach the book. Uh, so in the past, I would probably, okay, so what I was thinking is I could, you know, uh, strategy for approaching the book. Strategy for writing the book. Okay, so one possible strategy, uh, one strategy would be, could start from the transcript of my YouTube Will Radio Epi. Okay, so I could start from the transcript and clean it up. I could do that. And, and now there are AI tools that are pretty good and speech recognition and so forth. So maybe, maybe that's a reasonable thing to start. I'm not sure. That's something just to think about. That's something to think about. Um, but I think what I'm going to do at the meta level is to employ the 100-10-1 approach advocated, advocated by Fogus. Um, for how to approach the book, for how to write the book, you know, for how to go about writing the book. I don't know, I'll just stop writing. Okay, so Focus has a blog post on this 110 one approach where I guess if you're trying to decide what to work on, you're not sure, you write down 100 approaches, 100 ideas, and then you take the top 10 of those that are interesting, and then you create prototypes for each of those, and then you go with one of those and then push it um, all the way or as far as you want to go. So... I think, first of all, this is good, the the meta here, okay, right? So this is, you know, the really meta strategy. Um, this is the really meta strat. And then, you know, this is kind of uh, an instance of applying because I'm I'm planning to include this in the book. I'll talk to Focus about it. Um, so certainly I like this idea. Okay, so uh, so the the meta level we're going to apply the strategies in the book to the writing of the book, and then what we learn from writing the book, and maybe stories there can go back in. And by the way, I think story oriented. Could be strong. Uh, 
that can be strong. I like I like stories. I like telling stories, and that keeps me specific. Uh, keep it keep it grounded and specific. Yeah, I think that's important. Okay. Um, things in my direct experience are best. Okay, so I don't want to tell some... I don't want to have a book full of stories about, oh, once upon a time, there was a farmer who saw whatever. I don't, I don't want to do that. I want to keep it tied to things that I've, I know about. Um, all right. So. All right. So one question is how to apply this 100, 110 one approach. Um, so I, I guess I need to brainstorm some, how they'll go about, you know, different approaches. So, you know, like, I guess I'm already, you know, I think the first one's sort of the, that would be a strat maybe. Okay. So here's one. I don't know if I'll get to a hundred or if I need actually a hundred of these, but you know, one a few. And then these are, you know, kind of like, uh, I guess, heuristics and rules for this book, as opposed to general book, general rules like Heinlein's rules. Okay, so these are, these are rules for all the books I'm going to write this year. Um, but as far as for this specific book, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to use these heuristics. Now, I will say that these are probably good in general for me and probably good in general for, for things. But um, for this book in particular, I'm going to have some rules and heuristics to try to try to guide me. And so, um, you know, so one that's one strat is to get the transcript. Another is just start writing words. OK, so that's another possible strategy. I could just start writing. Another is create an outline. Now, last night I read a book that was talking about the about the Heinlein's rules by Dean Wesley Smith, and I've got another book by him. I'll, I'll probably read tonight. These are short books. Yeah, it's like well, this one's longer. This one's like a hundred pages or so. Uh, the first one's like fifty pages. This one's called Writing into the Dark, How to Write a Novel Without an Outline. Now, I will say that a lot of this writing advice is about novels and speculative fiction and so forth, but I think a lot of it's general. But anyway, uh, Dean Wesley Smith, at least for writing fiction and for writing novels, is a big fan of writing without an outline. And he thinks that outlines, the ideas of, of outlining everything, the ideas of uh, having to write a whole bunch of drafts and go back and rewrite and rewrite and rewrite, he thinks that's terrible. And he says that many of the famous writers in the past would do just basically one dra uh, draft. And certainly Heinlein, you know, talks about that. Um, Harlan Ellison... You know, there, there are other people who, now that doesn't mean that they were trying to be sloppy they, they, or they didn't put any preparation. Uh, and in fact, I think for many of them, they'd have a, and Asimov talks about this, like, you know, when he sat down and started typing, he said that he already wanted to know the story basically, or have, you know, may, he might not know the words he was going to type, but he knew, um, he wasn't like coming up with the story as he was typing. Now there was like, you know, a story or two where someone challenged him to do it on the fly. Uh, but in general, by the time he sat down to start typing, you know, he had a pretty good idea. So, um, so that's another thing I could do just kind of plan, <laughs> you know, quietly. Um, maybe in my head, 
maybe curled up on my bed or couch with my eyes closed. Okay. You know, that's, that's what I did to prepare for the most beautiful program uh, ever written talk. I just spent 45 minutes curled up with my eyes closed, just thinking, just kind of visualizing, I guess, um, maybe visualizing is a good way to look at it. Visualizing and organizing. All right. So that's a reasonable approach probably. And so another approach would be to fill up part of a notebook with ideas. Now, this um, author, Dean Wesley Smith, I think hates that sort of thing. Okay, so I'm not saying it's good. Remember, uh, we are going for bad advice, poorly delivered boredom ensues. Okay, so I'm not saying any of this is good. You know, I was telling a friend who's asking, oh, you're going to write all these books. That's uh, ambitious or whatever. And I said, well, I didn't say they'd be good books. I didn't say they'd be long books. I didn't say they'd be on any particular topic, like a technical topic. I just said they would be finished. They'd be finished books. That's the only thing I can say about them. Okay. All right. So... Mm. Well, let's see what else. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not sure what else uh, strat-wise. Don't know. Don't know. Oh, well, I guess, okay, here's another strat I thought about. Get, uh, make a bunch of recordings, make a bunch of YouTube videos. Mm. Mm, describing these topics and transcribe. All right, that's something I could do. Uh, talk to a rubber duck. It's kind of how the Will Radio works. I feel like I'm, or right now, I'm kind of talking to to the rubber duck, I'm talking to myself. Ooh, what else? Oh, I could give a talk on idiosyncratic. I don't mean a video, but an actual talk, like with an audience, a live audience. And creative thinking. Okay, I could solicit strategies from Discord and YouTube, etc. Okay, so that'd be another one. Um, and I could uh, hold conversations online with people to exchange stories and ideas. Okay, so there we have 10 at least. Okay, so, so maybe we just jump directly to the 10 part. Okay, I don't know if I wanna write down 100 strats. Although I guess, I guess this is the part of it that um, where the 10, 100, one approach might make sense. is like, okay, maybe I'm not gonna write down 100 strats, but I could maybe try out all 10. That would be one way to do it. That would be in the spirit of the 110 one would be, okay, I've got 10 strats. Um, I'm gonna explore each one a little bit. So I could do that. I could do that. Or I could at least, um, I could at least try to, to fill out each one. Maybe think a little bit about it. You know, let's see. So there are like 28 days left. Mm. Yeah. 
yeah, maybe maybe I'll try multiple strats. Um, and the reason I might try multiple strats is, you know, I, th I think they might um, complement each other. So if I start with the transcript and try cleaning that up, just the process of the cleanup and reading my words um, might stimulate ideas. Uh, just try, start writing words. I could, you know, I create an outline. I don't know. I could try different ones. And, you know, maybe for a novel, creating an outline inhibits certain things. Uh, I'm not sure that creating an outline for this book. Now, on the other hand, I could just say, you know what? I'm just going to start writing. I'm just going to start writing. Um, so maybe I should just pick one of these. I don't know. I don't know. But at least I have written down 10 strategies. And... I can think about them a little bit. Mm, let's see, if I were to pick one. If I were to pick one, I'd probably go with this. I probably wouldn't look at the transcript. I, I have, you know, some information. I, I have the bullet list. That's probably enough. You know, I got the bullet list already, so I don't think I need to do to do that one, probably. So maybe just curling up and organizing a little bit. Um, I'm afraid, you know, I could fill up 10 notebooks with ideas. I don't know. That's going to get me any closer. I could just start writing. Maybe. Maybe that's like an improv, impro type thing. Maybe that would work great. You know, maybe I should just trust in that and try it. Okay, so that one... That one's a possibility. Starting from the transcript, I'm less big on that. Creating the outline, I'm less big on that. Um, I've created outlines for lots of books that I never finished. <laughs> and I've tried going the transcript approach from YouTube videos before uh, for, for writing something up. That also never worked. Uh, I've got a zillion notebooks filled up with ideas, so that doesn't, you know. Make a bunch of YouTube videos, maybe, but I want to focus on write, write, write. Uh, talk to a rubber duck. Well, that's kind of what this video is, right? Uh, give a talk. Eh, I want to write, write, write. Solicit strategies. I've already done this. Hold conversations online. Yeah. Well, you know, I think there are basically two strats here that look promising to me. So these are the two I can really imagine. So just start writing. That's like the scarier option. Um, well, maybe I just do them, maybe I do them both, but I do them in this order. Okay. Uh, plan quietly, maybe in my head, maybe curled up on a bed or couch with my eyes closed, visualizing and organizing. Okay, could do that. And then I just start writing words. And maybe, uh, <laughs> and then maybe go to uh, four. You know, something like that. Um, and we could, do, we could do a test. Is it February 29? Um, if yes, send it, ship it. Okay. If no, go to four. All right. I think we've got a plan. This is our strat. I mean, think about it and then write. I mean, I guess that's, <laughs> that's, that's the big plan. Um, yeah, but I guess the, the thing that we're not doing is we're not outlining. We're not using a transcript. I'm not giving a bunch of talks. I'm not filling up notebooks. You know, I'm not doing all of the things that I would otherwise do, which none of which are really writing in, in this sense. Right. So you know, typing words into Emacs, that's writing. Um, 
okay, well, the planning part, I have to do some some degree of that. I think that's critical, but I want to be doing one or the other. I'm either doing four or two. Which one is it? Okay, one, one, or, the, one or the other. Okay, so I can do four. I can start doing four of the, uh, this evening. And I think I'll read a little bit of this writing into the dark, which is about writing without outline. That might be helpful, even though it's about novels. So there we go. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I've got my homework tonight. And a couple other thoughts. So for book two, let's see. Um... All right, so I came up with a working title for this one. Okay, so this is the actual title. This will be the final title. It's just going to be called that, okay? That is that is the final title, but we need a working title. And the working title is going to be the most ugly but finished book ever written on the most beautiful program ever written. Okay, so that is the working title. And when it's done, it will become beautiful. The book will be beautiful as well as soon as it's done. All right. Um, and then I've got one more book that I have decided. I don't want to get too far on my, uh, in front of myself, but I do want... Oh, actually, I have a book, book topics here. So uh, I don't know which one this is going to be, okay? And so sort of indeterminate number. but it's going to be sci-fi and it's going to be a sci-fi novel short story collection short story collection or screenplay and wow will it be bad okay so I don't know which number it is. It possibly will be a collab with a friend. Um, okay, so that's that's why I haven't decided on the number. If it's not a collab, it'll be number three. If it's if it is a collab, uh, it'll it'll depend on that person's schedule some. Uh, so we'll see if that how that works out. But I want to do that. So I will I will not create a directory for it yet. But I have picked a title, okay? Or, sorry, a topic. I have picked a topic. Okay, that's it. Um, so probably not going to do any more writing and uh, no more videos tonight, probably. Um, but I am going to start planning. And uh, my, my goal is so that tomorrow when I make a video, hopefully I'll be able to make a video tomorrow and my schedule should allow it. Tomorrow when I make a video, I just want to start uh, writing words, okay? Just start writing words, and, uh, you know, I've already done number four. So that's the goal tomorrow. All right, thank you. Uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.